Hello friends, this is Sherry from Jewelry Crafts with Sherry. Welcome to my channel today. I'm so glad you're here. I am uh, here to uh, participate in the collab Jewelry Making Fun with Deb Hauk. And this is a uh, yeah, jewelry making collab that we do every month on the 18th. And we have some prompts that we go by. So it's a lot of fun. And so this month, the uh, different things that we're supposed to go by is the first thing is uh, sapphire or dark blue. So I have this little kit here that I'm using. It's a little earring kit from BB Craft. And I'll give you, I'll add, I'll put a link to this kit if you want to um, pick this up or look at the other earring kits on BB Craft. I'm a demonstrator for BB Craft. And it's just coincidence that I'm using this. It had the right colors, you know what I mean? But why not go ahead and put link it in case you're interested. And I also have a coupon code uh, with my, you know, it's in my name, Sherry5, and I'll have that as a reminder too. If you want to, if you do want to, if you did want to purchase anything from BB Craft, uh, you can use my coupon and uh, you'll get $5 off a $40 or more purchase. So, yeah, if you wanted a, two or three um, earring kits, that would be maybe about $40. They're not very expensive, so you might have to get four of them, but <laughs> you'd be set for earring uh, kits, right? Or there's lots of other kits too if you actually are into kits jewelry kits so uh, when i got this kit out i think i had when it came it had a little uh you know little pamphlet that showed me the earrings i could make from this kit but i have misplaced it so i uh, looked at, i looked it up on my phone here real quick so i could have it handy and these are the earrings i'm making right here so you can see what I'm going for there. So I made one already, and we're gonna make the second one together. And uh, you know, earrings, it's pretty easy to make this earring. I love this little part. This, see, here's the dark blue bead here that you know goes along with the collab. That's why I picked this kit out. And this one right here is uh, in the middle. It's uh, gold on the back. This is gold findings here, metal findings. And then the little piece here is like, it looks like you might not be able to see it in the camera because all of all the glare coming off of here, but it's uh, looks like kind of like fish scales and it's iridescent. If I move it around you can see the different colors. So yeah, really pretty little earring. And I, I do uh, wear, I d tend to gravitate toward blues in my clothing <laughs> so uh, I thought you know this would be perfect for me to have another I have a couple pair of blue earrings I wear all the time so I thought yes I could definitely use another pair of blue earrings so um, here's all the pieces there's only uh, one two three four or five pieces here so I started with this one I just started with this is a little um, I believe this one is the head pin with the flat piece on the bottom the other one with the loop it looks like an eye it's called an eye pin so I cut this uh, actually uh, about a little over a quarter of an inch so my loop would be big enough here to fit what I need to fit it and still be able to turn it around and make my loop uh, I found that if I cut it too short I have trouble uh, turning it around because there's you know once you get something on here it's hard to uh, to make a loop because the thing that's on there is with the with your little uh, head pin here is kind of taking up the space so it makes it for me it makes it a little hard to make a loop so I'm cut it a little bit more like I said than quarter of an inch then I'm going to go for start my loop here and uh, I'm also you know I try to make these look good and so um, you know they might not be perfect when I make it you know an earrings or something uh, they might not be perfect uh, and you know and I might know like oh that's not exactly right but nobody else can really tell that there might be something wrong so what I'm saying is I'm not going for per perfection I'm just going to <laughs> for uh, they look good right and they actually look professional but nobody if there was something wrong nobody can tell and I think I am messing up this loop somehow I'm messing up this loop. let me start let me make my little let me see if I can save it and and not have to uh, to get another piece of another head pin out here. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this, turn it around, 
All right, I think I, I think I might I might have managed to save it. <laughs> I think I did. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So then this piece here with the fish scales on it that I was showing you goes on there. See, and now I mean I barely have enough to grab, but I do have with that little bit of extra room, I have enough to grab, I think. And I may pause if I have it, but it gets too fiddly for me. I may pause here. Let me just see if I can grab it real quick and twist it around. If I can't, I'm going to pause. So let's see if I can do it real quick here and get it closed up. Uh, it's just is it closed up? I turned my light right on here so I could see tonight, but it's still... I can see it's just uh, this is not quite closed up. Okay, I'm going to pause for a second instead of taking up all the time fiddling with this. I'll be right back. Okay, I got that closed up, so now I'm going to add my jump ring. I was going to do this while I was paused too, but I figured, you know, I'm supposed to be doing this on video, so <laughs> I turned the camera back on. But I'm going to open up this jump ring. These are tiny ones. These came with the kit. Everything here you see you see kind of came with the kit they give you everything you need to make your whatever you're making earrings or whatever they do have some bracelet kits too i actually got the um halloween if you didn't see that video i got the halloween and i did the unboxing for this too on this channel if you want to look back at my other videos but i got a halloween bracelet kit which i never intended to make bracelets with i'm making uh earrings and uh v dangles with it so <laughs> so you don't have to use it for its intended purpose you can you know if you need to make earrings or whatever with a bracelet kit there you go you can do it okay so i didn't get this quite back together correctly and i usually don't when i'm doing jump rings i don't know why i have some kind of mental block against them <laughs> they don't like me let me tell you they do not like me so I just mess around with them until I get them the way I want it. Okay, so I'm going to be right back. I need to do something real quick here. Okay, guys, I have done it. <laughs> I had to fiddle with that for a minute. But uh, actually what I did when on video, I closed up my jump ring. And then I realized I forgot to put on my earring hook. So I opened it back up. <laughs> One day I'll get good at this. But... Uh, Anyway, I got it done, and now I have myself a new pair of pretty uh, blue earrings. So yeah, um, I'm I uh, may not be perfect at this, but I get the job done, and I enjoy it, and I think that's what counts. So don't beat yourself up if you have trouble like me, <laughs> and you have to fiddle with your stuff. And I think one day I will get better at it. I just keep I'm going to keep practicing. I am not giving up. I'm determined. So <laughs> thanks for watching that today. And I, like I said, I'll link this kit below. And um, I think these are really pretty. I think they really turned out cute. And I can't wait to wear them. So I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.